Below a Raman spectrum on the x-axis, you will usually find the label of wave numbers. But what actually is a wave number? Well, that's the topic for today's episode of Raman TV. The color of light is measured with the wavelength of the light, the distance from one maximum of the light wave to the next, with blue light having a wavelength of around 470 nanometer, yellow around 580, and red upwards of 630. A wave number is the inverse of the wavelength, not how far it is from one maxim, maximum to the next, but how many of those maxima will fit within a given length, that is, the number of waves, say, per centimeter. Hence the name, the wave number. Say for blue-green light at 500 nanometer, this will be 20,000 waves per centimeter, or for short, 20,000 inverse centimeters, or more common, but not quite correct, 20,000 wave numbers. Which brings up the next question, why wave number for Raman and not wavelength like in UV vis spectroscopy. See, whatever laser wavelength you pick for Raman, the color of the scattered Raman light will always be offset by the exact same amount, which has to match the vibrational frequency of the molecule. Well, that's the magic word, frequency. The Raman shift is always the same in frequency and Frequency is the inverse of wavelength, so it is measured in wave numbers. This is why under a Raman spectrum, one will usually find the label of wave numbers. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Raman TV.